guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. Today is Booktubeathon day five. So for today's challenge, the video challenge today is a class reading list. And I think this challenge is really interesting. Basically, if you were a teacher and you could teach a class on anything you wanted and you had to give out a reading list, what class would you teach and what books would you put on that reading list? So I'll link the original video down below as well as the Booktubeathon channel. So, so make sure to check those out if you're interested. For my class, I was battling for a while of what I should choose, but I ended up going with a dark literature class. Just so important and they're a really good escape and it's what I started out reading when I got into Stephen King and stuff. I was reading a lot of his you know, dark work. I was getting into thrillers and I think you can really learn from them and it would be really interesting to like learn about the formula of a thriller and then learn about like kind of the dark elements that you can add into a book and like how you can add those dark elements in and how you can make them realistic and all this sort of stuff. So I have five books here on my reading list that I would teach if I were a teacher to my class. So let's jump right into it. First up here I have Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. This is just like a modern, it's not actually a classic, but it's like a modern classic um, thriller. Everyone knows about it or or knows about the movie. Basically this book is about a husband and wife, Nick and Amy. And Amy goes missing on their fifth wedding anniversary and the whole book you're trying to figure out who did it, what happened, where is she, blah blah blah. Um, and the husband is just as confused and it's so twisted, so dark. I loved this book when I read it. It's quite slow paced, so it might take you a little bit to get into. Um, this is not my favorite Gillian Flynn book. It's my second favorite, but it's still so well done. And it's just such a classic that I think so many people can like would read and enjoy. And yeah, I just really enjoyed this one. And yeah, I would just, I would make my class read this. This is a book I do not talk about enough. And that is The Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris. And I did a bunch of reviews on these books a long time ago. So like, if you want to check those out, I'll have them linked down below. But the reason why I don't talk about these that much is because I love the show for the Hannibal series so much. Um, and I liked the books, but I didn't love the books. There was something about the writing put me off, but they're still a classic story, and I thought the story was told super well. Same with this in Red Dragon. Basically, this book is about Clarice Starling, and she is trying to catch a killer at the moment, and she goes to Hannibal Lecter for help, as he is currently locked up, and she goes to him for help, and she has to try to think like him to, find, to solve this murder, and it is really interesting, and... There's some beautiful quotes in this too, like some beautiful dark as quotes. It's great. I would definitely um, make my class read this because it's just such a like a classic thriller and it's just like a story everyone knows. It's it's iconic, you know? No surprise here, I have Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King, which I would recommend because it is just like a great crime thriller. Basically, it's about this guy named Brady Hartsfield who is the Mercedes killer so he drives this stolen Mercedes into a lineup of people um, killing some and injuring some as well and the case goes unsolved but the detective who was on that case Bill Hodges is retired and um, when Brady hears about this he sends him a nice letter um, in, like telling him and taunting him that he never caught him and he begins to come out of retirement to help solve the Mercedes case and that's what this series follows as well as this book. One of my favorite books ever. Um, it's dark, It's you get really into the mind of Brady. Um, he's one of my favorite villains and he's one of the most interesting characters I've ever read about. Just I think this book has something in it for everyone unless you don't read thrillers but then again you wouldn't take this class you get what i'm saying and a part of this challenge was to include a book that was on your tbr for booktubeathon so my next the next book that i'd make that i get my class to read is lolita by vladimir Nabokov. and i'm currently reading this i'm about three quarters of the way through but i'm already really enjoying it and if you don't do not know this is about an older man who falls in love with a 12 year old girl and he obsesses over her and just that's really all I want to say. The mind of someone who is like interested in children, which sounds really gross, which it is, but it's a really interesting perspective to follow and it would really like teach people a lot and I've learned a lot from this book so far so I would just make my class read this book. Another thing that's not surprising and that is You by Carolyn Kepnes. This book is um, about a stalker named Joe who stalks this girl named Beck and he like just puts himself right in her life, just constantly tries to run into her, 
um, hacks into her email, watches her in her house. Um, it's really creepy and it just really shows you what the internet is capable of, also what people are capable of nowadays and it was just so creepy and it's told in like third person so it's like you went to the bookstore, you did this so it's like he's stalking you which is creepy and it was just so good so I'd highly recommend this one as well and I'd definitely make my class check it out. That was my class reading list for like a dark literature thriller kind of course. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and let's just roll the vlog footage. Welcome to booktube on day five. I'm sorry for the echo in here but it is currently about 7 a.m. Um, I've been up since five um, I helped my dad a bit this morning with some work, so I've been up for a bit, but um, right now I'm just gonna get ready. I'm already dressed-ish, so i done some makeup and all that sort of stuff because I have to go some places today, but I did figure out, um, I downloaded my audiobook on my phone so I could finally see my actual progress. I have three and a half hours left, so I'm like three quarters of the way through and I'm gonna try to finish it today and I'm hoping to read a graphic novel outside today. Those are just my goals though, we'll see what happens, but let's get ready and I'm gonna listen to this audiobook. Hey guys, it is 8 o'clock now and I'm about to do that read a book outdoors challenge which I was dreading. <laughs> but I'm outside now, um, cut to clips of uh, pretty outdoors, but I'm going to be reading, outside I'm going to be reading East of West Volume 2. And East of West Volume 2 and hopefully I like it. I didn't really love Volume 1 so we'll see how it goes. But Yes, and I listened to about half an hour, 40 minutes of Lolita this morning, so I'm about, I'm about two, I'm about two hours and like 50 minutes left, so I hope to finish that today. But yes, let's get this challenge down. Yeah, guys, I did it. I have no idea what time it is because um, I didn't bring my phone outside. But I'm pretty sure I took maybe 30 minutes to an hour. I don't really even know. And that's just my guess. It's ha that's how long usually graphic novels take me. But I just finished East of West Volume 2. And I actually liked it better than Volume 1. It was actually kind of good. Um, I love the art style in both volumes. It's just this one. There was so much more action. But I do find this series kind of jumpy. Like we're constantly jumping back and forth between different locations and characters. And it's a lot going on. But... Um, the art is super nice and I like where the story is headed so I'm interested to see where it goes I think it's gonna be getting like an extra star than my last than my rating for the first volume whatever that was I think only step up from the first one so I'll be giving it a bit higher than the first volume but it's still not like my favorite series at this point but I'm excited to read on so I'm happy I actually kind of enjoyed that one but yeah I'll catch you guys in a bit <laughs> hey guys so it is about seven o'clock right now and I just finished my second book of the day and my seventh book for booktubeathon what yeah my seventh book for booktubeathon so i'm glad i achieved that challenge at least but i ended up finishing lolita by vladimir nabokov and i just finished it now and i'm still processing everything but it was beautifully told and so dark and twisted and there's obviously a ton of controversy around this book and i don't condone anything he does but it was just such an intriguing story and so insightful and interesting so yeah i don't know i'll talk about more i want to talk about more in like a wrap up or like in a review video if you guys are interested in that i don't know let me know if you're interested in that um i might not do it because i feel like that would generate a lot of hate and i don't want to say any, the wrong thing or whatever but this was really good and i really liked it so i'm gonna be writing my goodreads review i think later today so i'll figure that out but yeah that was my day five let me know how your day five went down below and i'll see you all very soon with a new video bye